She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her Hello, it's Ivy here today and today I have a very special video for you all. Today I'm going to be talking about small boob confidence. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos. I've been doing like a lot of weight gain videos, but my original love of like body love self care image videos was like small boob videos. And as you can clearly see, I am the president of the itty bitty titty committee. Like, been a very long journey if you haven't seen my other small boob videos like I will link them below or leave them on the side somewhere it's just been like a long journey of like loving my body and the body that I've had for 23 years I guess you know I'm not like a hundred percent there I'm not a hundred percent confident but I do have some tips and tricks on how to learn to love yourself a bit more and have some more confidence in rocking your small chestedness because I know insecurities like this can really rule your life and impact the way you view yourself, impact the way you kind of act around others such as like friends or other guys or you know whoever else. That's why I thought I'd do one of these videos. As you can see my setup is really different, it's brand new and that is because I actually got married last month um if you haven't followed me on instagram i got married last month i moved out officially so this is my new home this is my little like filming space moved out with my husband and yeah so we're gonna get right on into the video practicing confidence when you actually have small boobs is not easy at all i remember being in like grade 11 and 12 and i kind of like you know getting out of the puberty stage where everything is growing really quickly and it kind of dawned on me that i was already like 16 slash 17 and i still didn't have any boobs i was like what's going on like why have they stopped that is not fair i'm not done yet from there i guess i like had to learn to live with being flat chested i know like i am the way that i am because of like how i guess petite i am in size and everything and my weight and maybe if i did gain weight i would get a little bit more boob maybe not like who really knows but in the end this is what i gotta live with for right now practicing confidence i know it's definitely not easy but it's something that's so doable the first tip that i have practically to, to have like confidence when you go out and wear whatever it is you want to wear is loving yourself and i know that's so basic but like really learning how to love you for who you are like all your insecurities you gotta learn to love like every single little bit of yourself and truly accept who you are and that is always the first step of any kind of confidence it's just accepting who you are and being okay with it the second practical confident tip that i have practically i guess is to try out things you love so in terms of styling I have found that for me being like 17, 18 and being afraid to really show other people that you know I am flat chested I remember like I used to wear like cupped bras and stuff like that or I used to wear like push up bras or I would wear like a cupped bra and then underneath it I'd wear like sticky boobs so I like, kind of push my boobs up and occasionally I'll do that if the dress or the outfit that I'm wearing really needs a little bit more push or boob but other than that generally I wouldn't do that every day and sometimes I kind of did that for a bit to really just like be okay with who you are minus all that like chicken fillets socks in your bra tissues down your bra like you can do that if you want to but i definitely think like one practical tip that i started doing when i was like 17 18 was trying out things that i loved it started off like in my room where i would just style certain things or i would try certain things on like i'd be like oh what would it be like if i wore like a backless dress what would it be like if i wore like a low cut top or you know like a crop top that showed a lot of my boob and i tried to to just style things a lot in my room by myself and I would never wear them out and then occasionally I would wear certain things out that would make me really uncomfortable like just out like small things like I would wear a singlet out and just see how I feel and then you kind of just gradually build up over time I guess it's not something that you can do straight away if you really are like super insecure about it but like 
you know, gradually building it up, try wearing bralettes under your t-shirts. It's not like people can see that directly, so it's not like a huge step, I guess. Things like, you know, going out and wearing a bikini. The, wearing a bikini for the first time is like honestly terrifying because it's not just about your boobs, but your whole body is like out on display pretty much. It is terrifying, but the more you do it, the more you realize people like don't actually care on the beach. They 100% do not care. People are more so thinking about their own bodies when they're at the beach. They're thinking about, oh my gosh, like, can you see my cellulite? Oh my gosh, you can see the stomach fat that I have. People aren't really thinking about you and how you look in a bikini. They're more so thinking about themselves. Put your mind at ease and know that like, it's actually okay, as scary as it is, like, just gotta do it. Yeah, to the point where you can just go out there and wear lingerie like me. It's completely almost backless top that I cannot wear a bra with and you know what I'm loving life the third tip that I have is be careful to what voices you listen to I think one of the main driving reasons why I was so insecure about my chest when I was younger was like yes I was already insecure about them and I knew that like I knew that um, I wasn't 100% confident in myself, but then as I was insecure, like more so towards the end of high school, I didn't necessarily, I guess, have the best friends who were like encouraging me and lifting me up. Instead, they were really exemplifying my insecurities rather than encouraging me to get rid of my insecurities. And you know, that's just high school. That's just what happened. Like it doesn't always have to happen like that for other people, but that was like my experience of high school and now that i've been like seven years out of high school it really doesn't matter at all like it's it's completely fine it's water under the ridge really doesn't matter at all but at the time it really broke me like words like that being so careful with who you allow to speak into your heart is so crucial i think if someone were to do that to me now maybe i'd be a bit upset if i had a close friend speaking that into my life at the moment i would probably be a bit upset but it wouldn't affect me the way that i let it affect me back then back then i really took everything to heart i think it's just like the fact that you're like 16 17 you're so young you're so vulnerable yeah being very careful about what voices you let shape your life is so crucial find like friends that really just like build you up and say good things about you. If your friend is a true friend, they will say something to you in the sense of like, they'll say something to you to make you better. If they do have like a criticism or something like, not negative, but like something to say to you, they're gonna say it to you to make you better, not to like actually tear you down, um, make you more insecure, make you feel jealous or anything like that. That's not a true friend. There's this Bible verse that I really like about like words being honey to your soul i'll put it down below that's what it should be like friends should be encouraging you and loving on you and being so genuine the fourth tip that i have is don't let others words be everything to you like i mentioned earlier it is about what kind of voices you let into your life but also like when people speak things into your life because you know, sometimes you're just gonna have haters in life. That's just what happens. People aren't always gonna be nice, even if they're not your friends. It is something that I struggle with so much because I am actually a huge words of affirmation person. Like I really take words to heart and I will like always like, you know, really think things over and over and over again of what people have said to me in the past or what people do say to me currently. Like I mentioned earlier, don't let others words be your everything just because when you do you really replace what god says about you and what you should be saying about yourself um, and listening to others when others words may be so untrue and others words may be coming from a motive of like actually trying to hurt you or um actually trying to put you down down because they're jealous of you or something like that the fifth practical tip that i have you is pretty much the same as what i said a little bit earlier is like delve into the word of god and really just see what he says about you you know like i don't know if you're like religious or anything like that but like one of the biggest things that has helped me so incredibly much in terms of like loving myself and learning to be just okay with who i am as a person is reading my bible and doing daily devotions and what i would do is like i would read a bible verse of scripture that really points out to me and i would just write like my thoughts on it like for example a bible verse saying like 
you are God says you're fearfully and wonderfully made and you're like what does that mean and I would like pick apart the Bible verse and actually like write different notes down on different certain words or like sentences and stuff like that and really see what that means to me sometimes it is just like me trying to understand God and try to understand his love for us but at the same time like there are times where I would just like sit for a second and just wait and just see what it is that God has to say about me and a lot of the time I'm just writing and writing and I read back and I'm like wow I cannot believe that like that that's what he actually thinks of me like it's so beautiful and yeah that is actually something that really helped me so incredibly much in terms of like learning to love myself and the chest that I have and the last six practical tip that I have this is definitely a lot more practical again is sharing your insecurities so I find that sharing your insecurities with a good group of friends friends that are genuine friends that like care about you friends that really want to see you move forward and love you so much I'm not necessarily saying like share your insecurities online to the internet like I currently am, like that it doesn't have to be your first step, but like, yeah, finding a good group of friends or even like one person, two people, you may not even know, like they might actually have the same story as you or share the same insecurities as you. And in the end, like when you share and you are able to be vulnerable with other people and say how it is you feel, there's actually so much freedom in that. You really feel so free because it's kind of like you're carrying a weight on your shoulders of insecurities and once you tell someone and they're like really genuine and they love on you and they encourage you and everything, it honestly does like wonders for you. This is kind of like a bit of a different small boob video that I've done on my channel. It's not more fashion related but definitely like a lot more confidence and practical tips that I have had from myself. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. It's at Ivy underscore Nicole with two E's. And subscribe to me for um, another video next week. I always post every single Thursday at 4.30 p.m. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day wherever you are. Goodbye.